Okay, I thought I'd do a quick little video about my conversions here. Uh, right here you see that I have, uh, oh, close up. I've converted, not really converted, but I've attached magnets to the bottom of uh, my destroyers. It makes it very useful for putting them on. See if you just notice very quickly how the destroyer just grabs on to the base. I used uh, some nickel-based uh, nails to do this little number. And then we're going to go in here. I'm going to show off a few more conversions I've been working on. Uh, I don't like the whole def copters thing, so I have def jets. As you, I think I've mentioned that in a previous video. And I've also magnetized them to the base as well. Uh, back here, you see my def dread. Uh, I wanted to make it to where I wouldn't have to buy a whole lot of uh, dreads with different options. So I put magnets on the side as well and have made these little custom uh, big shooters. Just from regular old orc shooters from the uh, kits they released before the new codex. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a whole lot to this video. I just thought I'd make a little something working on some tank busters over here. I've got to do some more conversions. I uh, have a squig that I'm going to paint up so that I can turn my friend, uh, friend's chaos army, uh, his independent characters, into squigs, particularly Typhus. You really want to turn Typhus into a squig with old Zogwart. So that's a goal of mine. Turn Typhus into a squig. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, oh, wait, one last thing. I don't have the money right now to buy new trucks, so I built these in about 30 minutes. They are made from cardboard, hot glue, and uh, water bottle lids. They're about approximately the same size as an orc truck. And they just they make for good proxies. I don't play in any big tournaments. I just play with friends, and they really don't care. Uh, other than that, not really much to uh, tell.